Worked on a bunch of vocals this morning. Uh, a little recording, but mostly, like for example, that song has a bridge with seven part harmony. Well, it's seven tracks, four parts, and they all needed to be tuned. And that takes a little time. Had a couple other things going on this morning that were cool and fun. And now I've got to head to work out. Third time this week, third week, I'm starting to get the hang of it. This is gonna be a weird episode, or has been, continues to be, a weird episode of Gildercam. And um, let me tell you why. So this is Saturday now, Saturday evening, late, not late, it's like 8.41. And what happened, <laughs> funny story. It's a Friday, my plan was to record in the afternoon. I forget what even happened. I did some, I did some work in the morning and worked on the EP Went to work out, it was just an awful, awful workout. Got home and crashed and took a nap. <laughs> After that was getting ready to come down to the studio and the kids were home from school so I decided to take Maggie on a little date. Spur of the moment. See, see the thing is, when you work for yourself, yes, you have to work, right? I can't just never work. But at the same time, you have to reap the benefits of that as well, i.e. the flexibility to take my three-year-old daughter out for a little date in the middle of the day because it's fun. Somebody's bike is over there. Mm -hmm. It's chocolate on it. It's so cool. <laughs> However, deadline is looming. I'll probably talk more about that next week. I'm gonna bump it back just a little bit. And I've planned my week already and to get that plan off on the right foot. I'm gonna spend a little time tonight here in the studio working on a few things on the EP, also doing some client tweaks on a mix as well. So that, that's my plan. So I'm, this is turning into kind of a two day episode because Friday I started shooting and then I completely crashed and burned and didn't finish anything, which ah, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna call that a night, but before I do, I wanna share one thing to hopefully bring some value to this episode. Is this too close? Starts off with a tiny little story. I mentioned earlier, I worked out yesterday morning, and it was one of those workouts, I went to the noon class, and there were all these, it was full, and there were all these really in shape dudes there who were all just crushing it. And here I am, barely able to breathe, can't do any of the exercises to like the full level that they, and just the entire time hearing that voice of like, you're not good enough, you'll never be, you'll never get in shape, you'll never be as good as those guys. I actually shared that with my buddy Chop and another buddy, and uh, Chop's response was like, man, I told you, you gotta leave your ego at the door. And that's such good advice. And here's the thing, failure. That's what we're talking about, right? Failure. It's just gonna happen. It is inevitable. Doesn't mean you have to completely crash and burn. What I mean is the fact that I'm gonna show up three times a week, maybe even four occasionally, and six months from now, I'm not, I'm still not gonna be, I may never get to their level, but I will be better than I am now, right? I'll be a little stronger, a little more in shape, be a step closer to be able, being able to do the workouts like they're supposed to be done without having to modify because I'm so out of shape and weak and all that in my chest this like little tendon right there. That's why I say all the time, only compete with yourself. As soon as you bring somebody else into the equation, it just mucks the whole thing up. As I was thinking about it yesterday, I knew I wanted to talk about this with you because there's such a correlation to music. You are making music and maybe you see someone else who is a better guitar player than you, who gets more breaks than you do, who releases more music than you, whatever that is, it can feel deflating and it can make you feel like you're a failure and you aren't doing anything worthwhile. And I just wanna remind you to think back to why you got into music to begin with. Was it so you could beat all the competition or was it because you had no other choice than to make music? Like there was a song inside of you that was just trying to get out and it never could make it until you picked up that guitar or you reach for that microphone. Remember that. Back 
back to getting healthy. For me, the thing that I need to think about isn't, I'm gonna be just like that dude one day, cause I'm probably not. But it can be two years from now, I'm gonna be fit and in shape and healthier than I've ever been, which means I will have given myself every opportunity to live a long and healthy life where I can continue to do this, to connect with you, to release music, to love my wife and my kids, and one day walk my daughters down the aisle, and one day meet my grandkids, and one day meet my great grandkids, and tell them stories about the old days when the internet was a baby. I don't know. Isn't it funny how when you take comparison out of the picture, things start to get a lot more clear. Iman! All this to say, you'll hear me harp on productivity and making the most of your time and releasing lots of music. I don't tell you that to shame you or to make you feel bad if you don't do those things. I only say it because I think that's what you really want. Otherwise, why would you be listening to me in the first place? You found me because of a love of music and probably out of a frustration with an inability to make the music sound like you want it to sound. Now, hopefully I've solved all your problems <laughs> and you can release music. But even if you don't, that's not a bad thing. I'm, I don't, I'm not judging you. I'm just encouraging you to get in there and do the thing that you really wanna do and to forget the fear and the comparison and the insecurity and all that other stuff. You'll deal with it when it comes, but go out there and do the thing you wanna do. It's worth it. Mm -hmm.